a man that we can all be proud of, Mr. Coleman Young, our famous mayor. Thank you very much, Bob Evans. And as June said, every now and then you need a Republican. As a matter of fact, if you will look immediately to Bob's right, you'll see a whole string of Republicans with a few Democrats intermixed. And I think that's an indication of what we really need in this city. We need both Democrats and Republicans, both Republicans and Democrats, who believe in this city and who are prepared to come together and move the city forward, and that's what we have here. Everybody on this platform, on both sides, was an integral part of bringing us to where we are. The city council, the state legislature, the various persons who use their powers of persuasion on various people at that but it was worth it. We celebrate today the 25th birthday of Cobo Hall. 25 years ago when this hall was dedicated for its first convention, it was the very latest, the very finest, the best convention hall. It was the largest. It placed Detroit in the front ranks of the newly emerging convention business. Times have passed. Cobo Hall is no longer first. I think it ranks about 13th. But we're taking steps to correct that. Thanks to the gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen on this platform, and to many of you in the audience, we have achieved approval by the legislature and the governor of plans to expand Cobo Hall to double its present size. Right now, Cobo Hall consists of 400,000 square feet of space, 300,000 on one level. We propose to expand that 300,000 by additional 350,000, making Cobo Hall the largest convention space on one floor available in the country. That should accelerate the number of jobs in this area. You saw the 20,000 balloons released. Each one of those balloons symbolized one more job that the expansion of Cobo Hall will produce. <laughs> it is my opinion that the expansion of Cobo Hall will do more than any single thing we know of now to accelerate the rebirth of this city and to take us into a whole new era for the city of Detroit. But just as in 25 years, this building has become antiquated, we have to look ahead. We have to begin to plan now what we do when this first phase is finished. We should already, already be looking toward 1990 when we need to be planning on the third phase. We need to be looking forward to expanding Cobo Hall from its present size or its proposed size of 400,000 square feet to 700,000 square feet, and yes, to a million thousand square feet. That's phase three. And we need to start working on it right now. I know you guys thought you were going to get a rest, didn't you? But seriously, we must plan for the future if our city is to remain great. And the time to plan for the future is now. Our present plans call for a completion of the environmental impact study. 
That's fancy uh, jingoism for uh, government red tape. Borrow the money to pay for this expansion. And then we can go on to the construction phase. It'll take us a couple of years, a little better. Complete that phase, we'll be into a brand new era. Again, this is a big day for the city of Detroit. It's a big day for all of us who worked for a long time with this dream. And now that the dream is in hand, let me say to all of you, happy 25th birthday. Let's plan on what we're going to do in 1990. Million square feet of bus.